I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. It is 2016 and we are excited to bring to you a Buddhist lecture for 2016. Now, some of you may ask, why is there a Proud Black Buddhist World Association? Let me tell you, in all of the world, we are the first independent Black Buddhist Sangha in all of the world. And perhaps in over 2,000 years, you will not find any evidence of a Black Buddhist Sangha. Because around the first century AD, a new Buddhism was born called Mahayana Buddhism. And Mahayana Buddhism, this is the time where Buddhism was changed and categorized by race. That is the time when they extricated all of the black culture, the black history, and the black language from the Buddhist teachings. Consequently, throughout the world, there are no black Buddhist sanghas. Everything is controlled in regards to Buddhism is controlled by Asians. We at the Proud Black Buddhists say there's something wrong with that. Anytime that you can look in this whole world and you do not see black Buddhists, then obviously there is something wrong. Now, our topic for today, it is called a black folk introduction to Nichiren Buddhism. Now, we practice the Buddhist religion as taught by the 13th century Japanese sage. His name was Nichiren. Nichiren means sun lotus and shonen means priest. So Nichiren lived in the 13th century Japan. Now, one of the interesting things about 13th century Japan, or one of the interesting things about Japan, is that Japan had a large group of African people or black people because the first people to come to Japan was black people. In fact, the first shogun of Japan was a black man. And we hold that Nichiren, who writes in the Gold Show, that he was from the family of the Chandelas. The Chandelas were the impressed, oppressed black people who lived in India. And Nichiren says twice in the Gold Show, from letter from Sado and banished from Sado, that he was a member of the Chandela family. Now, let's get into our lecture. Now, one of the things that I want you to understand is that let us view Buddhism from the standpoint of the proud black Buddhist world association. We introduce to you a new Buddhism. Buddhism emerged from what is known today as India. The word India means black. However, in the old days, India was called Eastern Ethiopia. Now, the father of history, Herodotus, who lived 150 years after the Buddha Shakyamuni, Herodotus traveled to Egypt and he traveled to India. And what Herodotus said, he says there are two Ethiopias, one east of the Red Sea and one west of the Red Sea. Herodotus never wrote that he ever saw people today known as white people. When you look at archaeological evidence of ancient India, which was the Harappan civilization or the Indus Valley civilization, there is no archaeological, anthropological, 
literary signs or genetic signs, they never show any signs of what is known as a white person because a white person never lived in ancient India. If you would examine any stature of the person they call Buddha, one distinct quality of the Buddha, you will see that his hair was just like my hair. So, what happened? That during the time of Mahayana Buddhism, they changed the Buddha from black to white. And even today, there's a big argument over the issue because you got white people and you got Asian people that don't want to admit or they got issues with the fact that the Buddha was a man of African descent. Now, the most important thing to those of you, and if you are black or African American and you are looking to learn Buddhism, the first thing that you must do if you want to learn Buddhism from the standpoint of a African and African American perspective, you must first of all clear your mind of any of the images that you have of Buddhism. See, when we look at Buddhism, we look at Asian people who are monks in a robe meditating. In the Buddhism, of Nichiren Shonen, who practiced the teachings of the Lotus Sutra, who, which was the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni, those teachings does not include meditation. Meditation is only one aspect of Buddhism. It is Nichiren Shonen who teaches us that the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni is the Lotus Sutra and we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association only practices the teachings of the Lotus Sutra. So when you think about Buddhism, do not think about Buddhism in regards to an Asian or somebody in a robe or something like that. Let's begin to look at Buddhism from a theoretical an objective standpoint outside the realm of the spirit of an Asian person. Now, the Buddha Shakyamuni in India taught that the highest teacher was the Lotus Sutra. Now, let me explain to you the essence of the Buddhist teachings. Now, the essence of the Buddhist teachings is the Lotus Sutra. Now, the word sutra means kyo. Now, if you want to understand the Buddhist teachings, you must first of all learn and recognize the word kyo. Now, kyo means sutra. Also, kyo means teachings. But kyo means the teachings of all of the universe and all of the vastness of space and time, that is what is Kyo. For example, the Japanese or the Asians have extricated all black history, culture, and language from Buddhism. Now, to extricate all black history, culture, and language from Buddhism, that could not possibly mean Kyo because Kyo is inclusive of all of the teachings in the world, which includes archaeology, anthropo anthropology, genetic science, literary science, all of this includes, includes Kyo. So when we teach you about Kyo, Kyo is the essence of the new Buddhism that we're teaching at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. Let's kind of give you an idea of Buddhism and what we want you to do is get your mind off of Asians when you look at Buddhism and somebody meditating, but let's bring you a 21st century 
perspective of Buddhism. Now, on Thursday, January the 14th, 2016, an international team of astronomers may have discovered the biggest and brightest supernova ever. The explosion was, as scientists equate, 570 billion times brighter than the sun and 20 times brighter than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy combined. According to the statement from the Ohio State University, which is leading the study, scientists are at a impact. They are straining to even come up with how so much strength of something that can even possibly be 570 billion times greater than the sun. Now, when you go to the Buddhist teachings, the Buddhist teachings can explain such phenomena. Now, we told you that the word Kyo includes all of the vast teachings in the universe. Now, we who are Buddhists, we chant the phrase Namu Myo Ho Ren Ke Kyo. Now, you know the meaning of Na A Kyo and that Kyo is all the teachings of vastness of the universe. Now, the idea that something is 570 billion times brighter than the sun or something is 20 times brighter than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy combined, we in Buddhism call this Myo. Now, the word Myo means mystic or incomprehensible. It also means open. Now, you open your mind, you open yourself to the vastness and incomprehensible knowledge of the universe. That is the term myo. Now, the word myo also means correct. Now, we can say that Myo means to open to the correct and wonderful Kyo or vast knowledge of our universe, which is called Kyo. Now, let us get to the word Namu or what they call Nam. For the most part, Namu means devotion. Now, in regards to everyday people, most of us, in regards to religion, do not like the word devotion. And such words brings fear to the average Christian because in the Christian teachings they teach you that God says put no other God before him and all of this sort of thing. That is what the Christian teachings teach us. So when we who chant Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, which means devotion, the word Namu actually is really can scare you a little bit based on the Christian teachings. However, if we bring this into a 21st century model, then we get a different understanding. Now, the word Namu not only means devotion, the word Namu means to awaken. Now, so where we at when we says Namu Myo, that means we awaken to the mystic or the wonderful or the incomprehensible or we awaken to what is called correct because myo means correct. Now, namu means to awaken. 
the Buddha says normal means to be amazed and awakened. Now, the word devotion is just simply another way of explaining the word namu. Now, in regards to introducing Buddhism to black folk, we introduce the Buddhist concept of kyo or knowledge. Please get the thought out of some Asian monk in a robe meditating out of your mind. In my life, I do not know of any human who helped change the world through meditation. Even the Buddha Shakyamuni taught, and he teaches us in the Lotus Sutra, that he did not gain enlightenment through meditation. The Buddha gained enlightenment through practicing the Kyo, or practicing the Lotus Sutra. Let's put this in everyday common terms. Now, the person that makes a change in life is that person who takes the time to educate themselves, like the scientists and the doctors. You cannot be a doctor sitting up meditating. You cannot go and change the world sitting up meditating. You have to take action. You have to study. You have to learn. Now, we who are Buddhists, part of our practice or part of our understanding of the Buddhist practice is us studying. Now, let's take this thing further. We come to the word ho. Now, the word ho means our mind. Now, the common way that ho is explained is that Ho is a law, and Ho is also a function or the way that the universe functions. Now, we have physics, which are the way laws of the universe function, and we have particle physics, which functions in a little bit in a different way than regular physics. Now, particle physics and regular physics, physics do not work the same way. For example, gravity is a law. It's a universal law that, that exists in our universe. Now, as we explained to you, on January the 14, 2016, an international team of astronomers may have discovered the biggest and brightest supernova ever. That explosion was 570 billion times brighter and 20 times brighter than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy combined. We and the Nichiren Buddhism call this phenomenon hope. In this case, it can be broken down into what we call the 10 aspects. See, whole means a function of life. See, Buddhism teaches us that or the Lotus Sutra teaches us that we have 3,000 worlds in a momentary state of existence and all phenomena is governed by these 3,000 worlds. Now, the 3,000 worlds starts off with the 10 aspects. That, for example, when you, when they look through the Hova telescope and they saw that explosion, that is an appearance. So all phenomena has an appearance. It has a nature, it has an entity. An appearance, nature, and an entity give rise to power. A power give rise to an influence. Now, an influence happens because what is called an eternal cause. An eternal cause happens because a relationship. And a relationship happens because there is a latent effect. And a latent effect happens because there's a manifest effect. And the manifest effect happens because there is a consistency of beginning to the end. So we have what is called the ten aspects that the Lotus Sutra teaches us. So you got the ten aspects. Now, the ten aspects, in turn, we got ten worlds. All phenomena has ten worlds. That is hell, hunger, 
animality, anger, humanity. You got heaven. Then you got learning, self-realization. Then you got bodhisattva. Then you got Buddhahood. Now, each of the ten worlds exist in each world. So you got ten worlds times ten worlds is a hundred worlds times the ten aspects, which is a thousand worlds, times the three realms of existence. Now, the three realms of existence, the first one is the realm of the five components. All components or everything has what is called five components. That is an appearance, but then there's a preception, there's a preception, a conception, there's a volition, and there's a consciousness. So that is the, the first realm of the five components. Then you got the realm of living beings. And then you got the realm of the environment, which comes to 3,000 worlds, which this is called whole. Now, what the scientists say in terms of whole, whole is a law or a function of the universe. Now, what the supernova and is what we call this, we call this Ren. The word Ren is the quality or function, or Ren is the cause. Now, in regards to Nichiren Buddhism, Ren means lotus or universal truth. Ren is the cause. The supernova is, in essence, a cause and effect or Ren gave. Gay means the function or an effect of a cause. We get the lotus flower and fruit or cause and effect that comes together. Now, when we chant Namu Nyoho Renge Cho, we are saying, or we can say Namu Nyoho Renge Cho is being devoted, amazed, and awakened to the correct, wonderful, and open to the universal truth regarding cause and effect knowledge of Kyo teachings, eliminating delusion. I am Anthony Alp Elmore, President and Founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, teaching you and bringing to you the new Buddhism and teaching you the new Buddhist way. Since I joined the lesson, I have changed my views of society and I have rekindled my desire to attain the American A brand new mission to help others make a big decision We bring to you a snow for religion It's not the religion that you expect It's all about the laws of cause and effect The virtue to the middle of the call of the teacher We do a lot of wisdom preaching No more life with any drama We change the words and change our karma We bring to you the new good way We bring to you the new way to pray after long prayers, a lot of meditation, I bring to the you the Buddhist conversation. We can change our human relations. We bring to you the culture integration. It's about peace and love and change the situation. This channel in Buddhism makes a lot of sense. It's about self development and enlightenment. I made the decision to join the Buddha way. I joined the Buddhist and co ed and faith. Buddha's new to America and like a tree. What the words of the Chinese and men? Function to the middle of the call of the teacher. A different learner from a Christian preacher. Buddha's religion makes a lot of sense. It's something to fill up with a light in hand. The coming of Buddha's head into the decision. Look at yourself and find the inner wisdom. The fortune to the middle of the call of the teacher. While we only have Japanese preaching, the Buddhist religion is the way to go. I will find our leader in Tokyo. I want him to Buddha way. They should, I should follow him and say, I no longer do it his way. Went to a temple called Taseka Chi. The courage of the temple don't relate to me. In 2014, I left the Buddhist temple. I have to do it, that's more simple. Mr. Shoe Man said, You don't have a knowledge? I want you to check my logic. The old way I teach Buddhism, I give the people a good rhythm. I'm not like a priest.
streets have no trouble I keep feeling it, make it simple You don't need a cottage to explain it Sing it and dance in the general of the language Don't you turn right around the cover when you're teaching We teach it with the wind of preaching We can teach the wind and all of the owning we love a little religion that's shown it Teach with us isn't it, don't need a rap We know how to sing and rap Let me bring some good news to ya We try to the Lord us to ya You don't have to practice here or out the chest of the second and sixteen chapters If you ever have a person be in my Learn that Lord us to ya tighter Love your whole being get cold That's the way that you call my go Love your whole being get cold That's the way that you call my go I don't care how the Japanese do it I'm gonna put a little soul to it I don't give a damn you don't agree I put the way that's really me I respect and love ya I'm gonna practice up Buddhism With my own culture I know you hate my dance And all the jerking You're really gonna be upset When I start my twerking We don't follow the rules And we do no rehearsing The Buddhists follow the law And no persons I don't care if a Buddhist practice don't suit ya We follow the law, the law, and the law, the sutra Lop your ring get go, it's the way you make the karma go Lop your ring get go, it's the way you make the karma go Lop your ring get go, it's the way you make the karma go Lop your ring get go, it's the way you make the karma go Lock your ring gate go, it's the way to make your karma go. Lock your ring gate go, it's the way to make your karma go. Lock your ring gate go, it's the way to make your karma go. Lock your ring gate go. Lock your ring gate go, it's the way to make your karma go. Lock your ring gate go, it's the way to make your karma go. Lock your ring gate go. The way in the right karma go. Lock your ring gate go. It's the way in the right karma go. Lock your ring gate go. It's the way in the right karma go. Lock your ring gate go. It's the way in the right karma go. Lock your ring gate go. It's the way in the right karma go. Lock your ring gate go.